Welcome everyone to a quickly and slightly rushed review of the ThinkPad L390, the more entry-level ThinkPads. Actually the ThinkPad L series already exists quite some years, since 2010 and apparently first designed and released with the theme of green. The first laptops in the series were described by Lenovo as being environmentally friendliest products in the ThinkPad range. Key features that contributed to this eco-friendly tech were the use of recycled materials for packaging and post-consumer recycled content, such as office water, jugs and used IT equipment. The predecessor of the ThinkPad L series was the ThinkPad A series, conceived as desktop replacement. The ThinkPad A series was discontinued in favor of two other product lines, the R series and the G series. Of course, as seen and reviewed on my channel, the A series ThinkPad were recently refreshed as AMD based ThinkPads. So let's take a closer look on these here. Maximum modes, minimum costs there right here. This is a yoga edition that we take a closer look for this kind of business presentation or watching a movie on the couch or bed, I guess. They are surprisingly affordable for some 580 something dollar for the entry level model. And this yoga version apparently starting at 720. Of course, a price where you otherwise not really get a make for. So apparently a quite affordable entry in the ThinkPad range here. The pro point here, of course, in the PC range is that you have quite some options to choose from. You want something affordable, you want something more high performance with dedicated graphic, with this kind of two-in-one yoga thing, you get it. Certainly very nice for many users. This particular model comes with an Intel Core i5. However, there are, as usual, other options, as well as USB-C power delivery and quite some ports. So two modern USB-C ports here, also for charging and display capability, HDMI, USB type A here on both sides for connecting other devices you might already have, micro SD headphone jack and the power button here at the side. Lenovo advertises a battery life of up to 12 hours. What I've seen here on this yoga traveling on train is maybe some nine hours if you are not doing too much editing source code and such. But as soon as you run more stuff, virtual machine, multimedia playback, of course, this goes down a little bit, no surprise there, as on every machine, up to 32 gigabyte DDR4 memory, as well as an optional Intel Core i7. Of course, right now I have quite some docking stuff, displays and external SSD plugged in. Let's take this out and take a closer look on the rest of the machine. So shutting down our Linux system to plug out all the cables to give you a closer look. Also, it comes with this pen, which I suppose should just work on Linux, but somehow did not this time. Maybe next time I try to take a closer look. So the usual black, minimal, beautiful design language that I like quite a lot. Of course, this here with this yoga hinges to turn it completely over for use as either a tablet, but also probably placing it on the desk like this for presentation and movie consumption. Otherwise, as mentioned here, the ports, USB-C, charging, as well as display, HDMI for another display, USB-A here and there, micro SD, this special mini Ethernet dongle thing here was unfortunately not in my box. Not sure if this is always an optional extra. Not sure what this is. Looks a little bit like you might be able to get the pen in here, but I couldn't get this out in my short testing. Anyway, headphone jack works on Linux. The microphone not though. Not sure if it's microphone capable. So next time, if I have a machine like this longer, I will take a closer look. In my opinion, compact enough, especially if you can user service some ports, maybe. But otherwise, a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but you can certainly wipe this sometimes. I certainly like this design language quite a lot. Let's quickly try to take a look inside. Let's hope they don't kill me for that, usually I ask, but this time, exceptionally, we need to send it back earlier, so didn't really ask, <coughs> but usually they said yes, so let's hope they mean this in general. So exceptionally, and unfortunately, I will not go through with this, especially did not ask before, and I don't want to break it here now, because this bottom case here goes over the ports, so maybe prying this open is not as easy and user serviceable as on the other ones, so I will exceptionally not do it here. So if you want something 
more amazingly user serviceable. I guess the other ThinkPad lines are more suitable for you. So performance wise on our huge benchmark set, where are we? Here from a Pentium 133 over P3 and SG Octane. We come in here relatively fast. Obviously Intel Core i5, here's a fifth fastest or so plus minus. Certainly a data center Xeon or massive Ryzen build beats it here on our open bench benchmark. Otherwise it is here similar to a four year old Retina MacBook Pro here. Of course the MacBook Pro is a 45 watt part and this is a 15 watt part. So, so much to the development there. This is build time by the way. So performance on runtime wise, maybe even slightly better, especially as this might have been another GCC version. So yeah, fourth fastest on our growing sample size here. Relatively good performance just for YouTube live streaming on the border, but then not everyone is YouTube live streaming. Certainly a very attractive black, minimal, beautiful setup here business-wise or otherwise. Affordable price, good performance. Just wish there would be an option for smaller bezels or something like this. But these are just the regular small things that could be improved. And speaking of performance, maybe something I need to pay closer attention to in the future is analyzing the thermal design power. Because as I said, this is 15 watts, but down configurable to 10 watts and up configurable to 25 watts. So Right now, unfortunately, not a clear idea what this is configured to. Maybe I need to find tools the next time to find this out. This concludes the slightly rushed review here. For this price point, I can certainly recommend it, especially if you compare it with other machines. Certainly, you don't get a Mac for this money and you get a solid PC with upgradability, at least to some degree. I hope you find this growing overview of different PCs useful, especially you have options if you want something cheaper, you find it if you require something more high performance, more luxury with a sync shutter or a different display or user swappable memory and such, then you have more options for this as well. I hope you share, like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon for the next videos to come.